Yeah, I was passing through and I stopped down here at this tri-state auction that happened tomorrow. And I'm just gonna, just showing stuff I would be interested in. We used to have a 520. And I wish I could find the one we had again. I know neither one of these are it. I know this one ain't it because the guy that eventually bought it restored it. And I thought I knew where it was, but I don't. This one possibly could be, but there's several things on it that weren't the same as ours. So I know this one ain't it. We had a different shaped dip, dipstick uh, tube. This is where you check the engine oil. So I know this ain't the one restored. But if I had the money, yeah, I'd be interested in this one. If I really wanted a 520, I mean, I basically just want the one I grew up on. Or I would be interested in this 530. Either one. And I'd be interested in these because I'd like to get an aero front end tractor again. We used to have a 60. But, uh... Well, they say I don't have the money for them, and I ain't really interested in it, but this was the main tractor on our farm at one time. This was the main, did everything. Spread manure, baled hay, mowed hay. The 60 was more of the grunt, did more of the bulwark. Yeah, 7710 would be nice, too. This one here. Ah, oh, but I'd want this one. What I find unique on this one is... Somebody changed this to get a narrower turning. If you look, this front axle is actually turned around. This A frame should be to the back. But they moved around. If they had it the other way, these wheels would be clear out to here. But with the A frame that way, it moves the wheels back, you get a shorter turning radius. And I know a guy that, the only reason I know that, because I know a guy that did that too. So that's what he's got. And I'm pretty sure he's still got that tractor. They don't farm anymore. Just construction work. Yeah, it looks like this one had a new... I believe that's the oil pump. New filter housing anyhow. I imagine that's where the pump is. It's a, it's a nice tractor. I'm almost going to say that's probably the synchronized transmission too. But all right, I mean, there's a few other tractors here, but nothing really I'm interested in in that respect. I've had enough 8 ends and 9 ends dealing with them. I really don't care about them. So I'm going to continue walking around and see if I can find anything else I'm interested in. Like I say, I'm just looking at stuff I'm it would be interested in or something that's kind of odd or unique that you don't normally see. And I'm not interested in a six-row planner. I got a four-row 7,000. It's just so it's an older planner, but I just found it unique that this one does have pneumatic downforce on it. They say something you don't normally see on a 7,000 planner. It's a clean planner. Real nice shape. Liquid fertilizer. But like I say, in this area you don't see many with the. An update like that. So it's all pretty clean. Nice. Tanks ain't all faded out. Pretty well been shed kept. There's Case International Cultimulture. Now that'd be 12 or 14 foot. More than likely a 14 footer. I'd be interested in that because the old John Deere I got is pretty well beat. This one's getting more out to them. Them are shot. Need shimmed up. Just don't take much. Just shove them in, get some washers or something behind them. That'd be something I'd be interested in. A lot of trucks. Christ, you'd almost think you're out in California where you can't drive anything over in the 2010 anymore. I think that's what everybody's getting rid of them here for.
Yeah, I'm mean, really interested in that. I'd like to get a cultivator again someday if I ever plant corn, but I, I don't want anything with V-sweeps again. I had a Glenclo with V-sweeps. If you don't watch what you're doing, you could hill potatoes with that damn thing. Plus a V-sweeps wide, you got a lot more chance of taking out corn. Another thing you don't see much around here, six row vertical, what you call this bin. Normally you only see them like eight rows or bigger. Don't really see many six rows around here. Or I've never seen a six row like that. And it was originally sold by the family that's having the auction, Wiggers. He's the one that mans this uh, uh, auction anymore. A bunch of truck tires. Which I don't really need. I do need a rim though. But I don't know if the truck rims. I don't need 10 bolts. I need an 8 bolt. I need an 8 bolt implement rim that takes, I believe, 22 inch tires. 22 and a half. Busted a rim out of my TMR mixer and I got another tire on it, but I need the rim. Rusted out in the bead of, or one of the dish parts of the rim and it won't hold air anymore. So, uh, might see something in the pile up here. I'm not coming to the auction. But I guess you could bid online, so maybe if I do see one, maybe I could bid online for it. That's something I'd probably go for high. That seems to be the common thing anymore, these inline wrappers instead of individual bell wrappers. Gale 970, one of the best wagons made, Gales, but I get leery of them anymore because of where you get parts for them. Good solid floor in it. A lot of new wood rework, which is nothing new. I've done the same thing. Did a nicer job than I did on the wagons I've done. You know, wouldn't be afraid of it. I actually got a wagon I'm taking to an auction, so. Not a Gale, but a Myers. They can take them wagons and junk them. You know, I see, I keep looking here. Yeah, there's a 4440. That'd be a nice size tractor. I wouldn't mind one of these. It says newer Titan II engine, new batteries, new clutch. I ain't gonna crawl up there and look at the end hours or anything. It ain't that new of an engine, I don't think. He's probably got, I would say he's probably got over 2,000 hours on that engine, maybe. Doesn't like new work, doesn't look like a new block or anything. This is newer. Of course, they might have got that engine out of um, a junk tractor somewhere. So it's a newer engine. And so they, just says newer engine. So it's possible it has four or 5,000 hours on that engine, depending on what tractor it came out of. See, this is 4440. It's a good size tractor for this area. You really don't need much bigger than that, in, anyhow. Yeah, there's a 185. That's the other thing. If I had the money, I'd love to have a head like this. I don't know if this would fit on a 790 or not. I know you got to change the drive. See, newer choppers use a PTO style type drive on it. It'll connect onto this shaft here to run it. That's what runs that the head. The older ones, you had a chain. I don't know if it'd be over here. I forget now. Somewhere in here that runs off, runs to the head to run it. This head is probably, a, yeah, it's probably what they call a three-row head. With these heads, you can chop corn. You can go any which direction you want to across the field. I guess you can even chop uh, like standing wheat and stuff. I've seen guys do that. Heavier crops, like, you don't want to chop hay with it. But that's what that head's for. Last I saw, one of these heads was like $20-something thousand dollars. But, like I say, 
you don't have to worry about which direction the corn's leaning. You can cut across. You don't have to worry about staying on rows. You just go. It's one of the nicest things about them. It's funny how many times you see something like this at an auction. I guess, well, I guess they just put new ones on. New teeth there, but there's usually, a lot of times these things don't look like they've been used, but must have been used somewhat if they did put some new teeth on it. I'd like to get another sprayer like this or that one. These are what 500 gallons more than likely. Of course some stickers are gone. But not 300 gallons big enough for me and that pro pump probably ain't bad but that's the biggest part about sprayers like this. All this parts are expensive parts. The pump I got on my sprayer, I know it's like 700 bucks. I had to replace it one time, but they're easier to replace. That pump there probably cost you $1,500, $2,000. Nice set of all of our discs. Something interests me. Damn, if you want Gale, a Gale 970 wagon, this is a place to be. But there's a third one. And this one's got a newer beater in it. Two newer beaters. All look like they've been shed capped. Yeah, that's a mate to the other one, I think. Or am I looking at the same one? Am I lost? I'm confused now, then. Yeah, there's one up there. Okay. I'm not crazy. Because this one's been fixed the same way. I think I've told this story before about these beaters. This beater will fit. A 920, a 940, a 960, a 970, and it might fit the 980s. But I had a 920 and I had a 960. And the beater went bad in, I believe it was the 920. It was going bad. It was rusting out right here. And I went down to the dealer at the time. You now we're talking 20, 25 years ago. And asked a price on them. And they were like 280 bucks. And he goes, I don't have any here right now, but I got 10 on order. I looked at him and I said, you're full of shit. And he says, no, I got 10 on order. And about two weeks later, I went there to get something else, maybe a month later. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just pick one of these beaters up because it's more likely they'll go out on a Sunday and be screwed. We went out back and he had a pallet with eight of them on it and a wagon out on the lot with two new beaters in it. Now that's the difference between dealers today and dealers back then. Or this dealer specifically, he always had multiples of parts. In fact, when John Deere came in there and basically forced them to sell, that I heard they sent like three semi loads of parts out of there. I mean, he actually stocked parts. Nowadays, oh, we can have it tomorrow, or it's in the warehouse in Illinois, and we can have it in a couple days. So, yeah, get down to the next line. Well, I would be interested in at least two tires, if not a full set. I wouldn't worry about getting the rims. But if the price is right, I would do that. But I need two tires on my new Holland skid steer. They are bald as shit. One doesn't really hold air. I don't know how it's not coming off the bead, breaking the bead. It's got so little air in it anymore. But again, it ain't gonna happen. So I'm just here dreaming. Or maybe you can consider this my wish list. If anybody wants to come out here, bid on it, buy it, and I'll come pick it up. Just let me know you paid for it. We could do that. There's something nice. That's uh, brilliant, I think, based on the colors.
Um, yep, brilliant. Thought so. One, two, seven shank. Would be a nice little setup. All good points. Well, I don't think they need turn just quite yet, but they got all turnable edges. So yeah, that'd be a nice little thing to have. I do believe my fork would yeah. Yeah, Ford should pull that. I doubt it though. It's 100, around 105, 110 horse. International pull with that's probably around 130. That should pull it. Yeah, it's too big for me. Not that would want one. That's pretty neat though. Four bottom automatic reset. Oliver plow. It can be taken down to three bottoms. All you do is got to rework this frame, drop that bottom off. So that's nice. All the like 508 whites, all them, basically the same thing. You can buy if you can buy this plow for 100 bucks. If you just needed wanted to add a bottom onto a plow, make a four bottom, a five bottom, or something. I like the tail wheel. I wish I like to have them. So it's the 348 I have a 346 semi mount it's a cushion trip plow not the automatic reset I was looking at buying one of these at one time too this is oh one of the first attempts at bale wrapping this one here you'd spear the bale and then you had your plastic on that the only drawback about this one you could spin the bale but you had to tie the plastic onto the bale and then you manu manually walked it down that rod. So basically you had two guys to wrap a bale and you only wrapped the outside of the bale. But if that's all you're looking to do, shed water off, quick coat of plastic on it. As I say, I think these fell out because it's basically two guys to do it. Not like those trailer ones where one guy can do the whole thing, wrap the whole bale. Where now everybody's gone to, like, say, them line inline wrappers because they use less plastic and it's all automatic. You just stick the bale on there and it runs itself. So, like I say, everything's got its pros and cons. Yeah, we might get a set of duels for that international. These are 20.838s, but that don't matter to me. Mine's only got 18.438s. But these tires are pretty, I, mean, I guess as long as they hold air, but and all they got to do is provide flotation, you know, really put duels on for traction for them to pull. You just want to help spread the weight out. The bars and stuff are down in there. But like I say, the tires, when, if I could get these for 50 bucks, I got a set of 18.438s I took off that International just to save for a reason like this, if I could ever get rims or something to put on it. For spares, even if I blew a tire on something, these now these ain't duels. These are clamp-ons. These won't be no fun. The valve stems already in there, so you got to break these tires down. These are 20.38s. Tires are shot, so you're only buying these if you want the rims. There's a set of tracks. I mean, like I say, if they would go cheap, I would be interested in them. These are low greens, low grins, whatever they call them. I'd be interested in these because they're a little bit wider. They'd float more instead of mine, like dig. I just ain't crazy. They put such small bushings and stuff in it. I mean, there's nothing to their links. I don't think they would last all as long as the ones I got that do. Bunch of totes. Don't need them. Yeah. Here's what somebody does. They buy them totes and they turn them into these hay feeders for horses and calves. Hey, too bad an idea. Recycle. Well, manure bucket. I got one, but I wouldn't mind that one either. Mine's kind of Getting a little bit beat up, need some work done to it. 
Eh, a cub. I guess this one probably ain't fat, it's enough for some people. Clean though. No, I'm gonna say clean, but looks like it runs and stuff. If you just want a worker. Six volt. Eh, none of these things interest me. Another sprayer, I'd be interested in that one. That's fairly yeah, I'd be interested in this one. That's the style pump I I got on my sprayer right now. Simple. You replace them pretty easy. Oh, what the hell is this one? 300, that's a 500 gallon tank. I don't need a 500 gallon sprayer. But like I said, you don't have to fill them up full either. One I got is 200 gallon, and I've never put 200 gallon in it. Usually about 150 is about all I put. And this is a Myers. I'm trying to see if that came from Wiggers. Probably did. Dave the Myers dealer. It's got a horse to running gear. So this probably came from them. The same basic thing I got. Same box. Mine's a little rougher shape than this. But the reason I want to get rid of it, these do not like grass. I've bound up the beaters so many times. I snapped the chain that drives them. The box is getting weak. The difference is this one, this one's only got four tires. Mine's got tandem underneath it. What I would love to do, and I've mentioned this before, my round bale wagon has a horse running gear underneath it too. And I believe both gears are 12 ton. The only difference is the silage wagon has the tandems and my bale wagon has just the single. And I thought I want to take the tandem off and put it underneath my bail wagon and put the single on that. Let's see if this is the same wagon running gear. Yeah, double reach. So yeah, this probably is a 12 ton. It's got the same size tires. I don't know if I want to go through the hassle if I take that wagon down there. I am at least going to go over that wagon, take whichever tires, because one tire is probably only two years old almost new I am going to swap tires around because I do have a tire on my bail wagon that is getting bad so I said so I'm debating well I want to take the time to swap the axles around the way things are going if I'd ever really need it again maybe bring more money if I ever sell out for the bail wagon so I might have to follow the auction here online, see what this wagon brings. Here is two of them. I didn't... Where's that other? Myers is over there. But, I guess... No 790 choppers this year. That is a manure spreader. That's a... It's a Gale, so that's the same as the New Holland. Yeah, junky end gate. You want an end gate, they're about 1200 maybe 1500 bucks. I forget what I paid for the last one. This is all New Holland. New Holland made them for Gale. Well, it's going to vibrate when it spreads because they're missing one paddle here, one paddle there, so it's out of balance. Goddamn, it'd be worth it maybe to buy it just for these things. Fifty some dollars a piece for these. So right there, right there's $150 worth bidding on it for. Apron probably is kind of weak. You know, if this would go for 100, 200 bucks, I would buy this. I need the tire. That's 150 dollars worth of paddles back there. Uh, I wouldn't buy it. I need one of these too. I can't figure out what's worn in here. This won't stay in the notch. Yeah, this front panel's shot. 
Yeah, 100, 200 bucks I would buy it for the tires and the paddle. I need other parts from it too. Jack. So you know, one of them jacks, I bent the lower foot on them. And you can't buy that foot separate. It's $240 for that frickin' jack. Stupid damn things. So, I'll make one more pass up through here. There's an old Pequay, and it's Pequay. Not, I always call this Pequa, but it's Pequay. I actually call, somebody was demoing some Pequay equipment, and that's what they were saying, and I actually commented on there because the dealer or somebody from the company was actually commenting, and I asked them, and it's Pequa. Not Pequay. Or Pequa. It's Pe Pequa, not Pequa. I think more companies ought to do that. Put some sort of logo or something. It's pretty cool. I thought they had one on this side. I thought I saw one earlier on here. That's J Lore TMR mixer. Imagine it's here because, well, you can see it's getting more there. It's probably tubs getting thin. Knives are shot in there. Probably the screws getting thin. So the guys usually get rid of them because it's pretty intensive to reline these things and put new new screws in them and stuff. Guys, that one came from Fisherville, Ontario, Lynch Brothers Limited. Somebody's done some trucking work to get that. Yeah, I don't see no dealer tag on this one. That's the other thing I come to these auctions for, to see where some of this equipment came from. But, I say Truck Central here this year. A, I like that. There's a 6300, there's a 6200. I'd be interested in either one of them. 2755. Eh, I don't know if I would be in that one. It's a little bit small for what I like. But I, I can stay in this series of tractors. I ain't really brand specific. I got ones I prefer. I'm more age. I don't care for anything like this. This series, that series is fine. This TW35 up here, Ford. I got an 8630 and 8640 here. Any of these would be fine. The 1155 Ferguson, eh, that's a little bit too old for me. I ain't a big Ferguson guy anyhow. And there's the other thing I find amazing here. Kind of confusing this year. They have one combine. That John Deere. I don't see a single other combine here this year. Usually they got four or five of them. They've always at least a 2388 International or 2366 or 1480. There's always one of them around here. The one they got here is a 9560 STS in the sprayer. And I'm going to guess, unless they do online bidding here, I think that'd be the only way either one of these things sell. I really don't see somebody in this area buying them. There's a 125. Yeah. Huntingburg, Indiana. Came a ways. There's a 240 up there, International. I wouldn't be surprised if it's my neighbor's. I can't remember what model he has, but it's, 
I don't see them using it much anymore. It wouldn't surprise me if you brought it here. And I just talked to a guy that was walking around here. He knows the guy that had this tractor. He had six of these. There is no, really no seat time on these tractors, he says. It says here, 1,000 hours, no one sat in the seat. All this tractor did was run a water pump. He had six of them. And that's all they did, is run water pumps. So basically, tires are new on these things. I don't know how many hours is actually on it, 1,200 or something, I think it said. But it's all PTO hours. There's no wear and tear in the seat. Everything cab-wise is probably as new as you're going to find. They do have some road run on them. Front tires always do wear fast. But, yeah, he sold all the pumps last fall. He had like 8,000 feet of irrigation pipe. What they did, they ran them, uh, he said, pump of water for oil and gas wells. And what they were used for. So they say, it's all it was, pumping water. And this is a newer one, got the goddamn deck in it. I just wonder because it's got that and plastic on the seat in there, cardboard on the floor yet. Thing don't run long enough that somebody can use it. Or some hobby farmer bought it to make hay and then they don't have the ki their cows or whatever anymore. Who knows? But I guess. I've wasted enough time here. So like I say, anything I had out there that I was kind of interested in, if somebody wants to buy it for me, it's fine. Just let me know you paid for it. No, I'll well, come over and get it. I don't have a problem with that. So I guess I'm gonna head home, get something else done, a waste of time here. So thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you later.